Hi, my name is Ashmita Kumar, and I'm here to talk to you about my story of self. I was in my freshman year at Troy High School, sitting in AP World History. We were talking about how the Industrial Revolution brought women into the workforce. This evolved into a discussion on the continuous discrepancy in the roles and pay available to men and women, especially in the field of technology where women make up only 25% of the industry. The discussion was interrupted when a guy in my class had the gall to say that there was no gender gap in STEM. And if there was, it was because women were too lazy and too stupid to do that kind of work. He told this to me, a young woman who had taught herself to code in Python in fourth grade and had been striving to learn the various forms of Linux cybersecurity the moment she reached high school. He told this to me, a girl who was one of five or fewer girls in every class she attended, despite the fact that her school was dedicated to teaching technology. He told this to me, a daughter of a woman whose uncle took her to the US so that she could have the education that she would have been denied in her home country. A woman who had become extremely successful in her own STEM career. What he said felt like a kick to my stomach. And as I stood up to challenge him, I suddenly realized that women would never participate in a field where they were constantly undervalued or derided. And in that moment, I knew that in order to do something about it, I would have to create an environment where girls could learn technology from other girls without the fear of judgment. That idea became GTEC, an organization I founded in order to bring previously underrepresented groups into STEM. With the help of three other girls, we began to teach classes in basic programming and ethical hacking. Of course, our organization was small, only 10 students attended our first meeting. But since then, our curriculum and outreach have only grown. The board has expanded from the initial four to eight female leaders, each of whom offers a unique skill set to help our girls thrive. Since founding almost two years ago, we have reached more than 100 students, a number that continues to grow. We now teach bi-weekly sessions on Python coding, web development, CAD, and cybersecurity to girls and low-income students. But most importantly, we teach girls to feel confident in themselves and to continue to strive despite the pushback they receive from people like that guy in my history class. Our students learn above all else to face their challenges head on without the fear of failure. While it is sometimes hard to know whether the girls we teach have learned the values we've tried to instill, we are constantly rewarded when girls come up to us after our classes and tell us that they feel confident and ready to keep learning more. That feeling of watching someone grow, watching someone take a challenging task and turn it into her passion it's a feeling that cannot be beat. I would like to leave you with one last thought. The computer doesn't know who is sitting behind it. Yet we allow thousands of girls to face prejudice despite their skill. I am taking steps to change that and I hope you will join me in doing so too. Thank you.